Hey, thanks guys for throwing me under the bus. Oh, you don't like it? I don't even know what this challenge is about. My canvas wants a wolf and a... Oh, what does she want? She wants to face me? turn it into the wolf. Yeah. Yeah. So what do I just do a face turn into a wolf? Like a morph. What the hell does that even mean? Like, how do you morph a wolf into a woman? You can't morph her. Why don't you get her to do a face with a wolf on top of it? Sarah clearly said the face of the woman. 75%. Right, so you 75%. can't morph it. 75%. Divided by six minus four with a three drop water system? Like, dude, I'm freaking out. I don't know how I'm gonna morph. I don't even know where to start with this. How are you morphing this? Was that one of the rules, morphing? Maybe it's got a face of a woman and an ass of a wolf. I don't know. So back to this morphing thing. Are there like certain rules? Cause I have to do a wolf, uh -huh. I have to do a face. It's more than just a wolf and a face. What surrealism is, is more dreams becoming reality. Okay. All right? It's your subconscious that's taking a problem that your conscious mind has, which then will have input from whatever that you've watched. You're using too so, many big words. I can't even talk to you right now. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, guys. Sarah Miller challenged you to tattoo a surrealistic female. And you will have six hours to tattoo. Your time starts now. All right, let's do it. Come over here, let's do the stencil. Nice. With surrealism, you pretty much open the door to anything from the imagination. Go big or go home. With this strong group of artists, I expect to see great tattoos. I already messed up one challenge. I'm not gonna make a mess up this one. My canvas originally wanted a full-length mermaid, but I was able to tuck her into a very beautiful face with pearls and a headband. Any tattoo on a thigh has to be pretty big, and this is difficult skin. A sausage. Hey, look doing? at that. Triggerfish, right? It's not. No. Nope. I don't think it's a triggerfish. I, I want to say it's a butterfly fish, but. Okay, because I'm usually right. Maddie's trying to slow me down in this competition. I mean, who are you kidding? It's a really tough crowd, and you have to fight. Yeah, your guard down. This should prove to Maddie that I'm no one to mess with, and that I'm a better tattoo artist than he is. Jeez, Maddie, looking sick, right? Foxy. After all the shit I gave Sausage in season four, I know he's gunning for me. We're gonna duke this out, and may the better man win. It would not hurt my feelings if he went home. I left my daughter to be here, and I need to come back a champion. There's no point in wasting time. Hey, Mark, how's it going? Of course I'm gunning for the veteran artists, and they gotta go. You need to bring a platter and an extra pair of pants because your ass is about to get handed to you. No, but maybe we'll keep Maddie around. Maddie's a great artist. He's strategic. We are in a really good spot. Good job. We definitely handed him out right. He understands how this game works, and he's actually helping us take these other guys out, and that's brilliant. Four hours to go, guys. It is, man. As soon as we get done with these buildings, I'm gonna move to her. My canvas wants a surrealistic setting of Philadelphia being blown apart by a nuclear bomb along with a girl's face. I'll be using my girlfriend. His reference, she's hot, it'll work. Cool. Thanks, man. Yeah, having a good day. This mother might be going home. Last week, knocked out St. Mark. It would be gigantic if we could take out another veteran. I'm expecting something good here. All right, mister. What are you thinking, dude? Um. Man, I think Alex should have done a different face. He said the face he's doing is his girlfriend. Yeah, this off. Little sci-fi action. My canvas asked for a side profile of a woman's face morphing into a galaxy. This is not something that I do a lot of. Actually, I don't do it ever. <laughs> not something I'm quite familiar with, but we're coming along. I came back to show that I do have the chops to be a versatile artist and beat some of the best competitors in Ink Masters history. You have two hours remaining. Super pumped to be back. Out of everybody here, I think Megan is the only person that is really a threat in this challenge. This is what she does. I don't think anybody else understands exactly what surrealism is. I wanted you to decide something interesting to do. Yeah, you definitely did that. <laughs> How are you? Good. How are you? I'm all right. This gets hard when you're in a bad mood. Like, my arm just killing me. It sucks, dude. I'm really at the end of my rope with this aggressive, competitive, weird strategy and bizarre flash challenges. Let me see what kind of morph business we got going on over here. This is Megan right here. Glad I wasn't in a better mood. Hanging out with Clean is sort of my only motivation to stick around. If this wasn't my style of tattooing today, I'd probably already have left. How do you feel about it? Super cool. It's big. 
definitely concerned about Megan. I don't want her emotions clouding her judgment and stopping us from doing what we need to do. I'm really hoping that Clean goes home today. It'll take away that distraction from Megan and bring her back into the fold. The last thing you want to do is be uncomfortable here. Really working that texture there, huh? Uh, I figure it's a wolf, you know? I think Sarah Miller picked surrealism because it's crazy, and so is she. Oh, we got a long way to go still. Oh, my God. <laughs> Mad dog on a leash. I'm not even going for the win right now. I'm just trying not to mess up because I don't want to go home over this tattoo. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. Time's up. Machine's down. No more ink. Take a look, man. That's awesome, man. She's gorgeous. Good? Uh, definitely good. Oh, my god. I love it. Cleans? It's flat. It's unappealing. It's so ugly. This is the worst tattoo I've ever seen on Ink Master. Yeah. You killed it. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're already starting off at a deficit. Bigger isn't always better. I think that giving you a 53-foot canvas is a pretty clear suggestion that it's supposed to be a large piece of art. Jimmy is like, what are the rules? How do we do things to what the judges said?